Hello and welcome to Code Sketched. Everyone knows about the famous data structures in JavaScript like arrays and objects, but there are two other important ones which most of us have no idea exist. Those are the map and the set. Let us start by looking at the map first. Map is that data structure which holds key value pairs while also remembering the original insertion order. A new map can be created like so. A value can be added to the map using the set method where the first argument supplied is the key and the second one is the value. The value can then be fetched from the map using the get method by passing the key for which we are expecting the value. Now you might ask how this is any different than just using an object because all the user operations that we listed above can be performed using an object and that looks way easier. But trust me, there are advantages to using a map. Some of those being a map only contains the keys that are explicitly added to it. There are no additional keys from the prototype object that show up in a map, unlike the pure object. Also, a map can accept any value as a key. For example, you could even supply an object or a function to act as a key in a map. Another one is that a map is an iterable and its keys and values can be easily iterated using the for of loop without any workaround like object.entries which the object requires. One hidden trick is that the values are iterated in insertion order which can come in handy sometimes. In addition to that, there is a size property that comes inbuilt with the map that tells us the number of values in the map at any given time. One last but most important advantage is that a map is optimized for frequent addition and removal of keys as its primary use case, whereas an object is not. So next time you have a use case to store key value pairs, do consider the map data structure. Now let us shift our attention to the set. A set can be thought of as a data structure that lets us store unique values of any type, whether they are primitive values or objects. Thus, a value can occur in a set only once, even though you add that value to the set multiple number of times. One question you might have at this point is, how does a set check for equality between objects that we add to it? And the answer is, from ES6 or ES2015 onwards, it uses the triple equals operator to test for equality. Also, due to several optimizations that are in place, the has method that a set provides performs faster in detecting whether an item is present in a set than the array includes method when an array with the same length as the set's size is considered. Due to the virtue of those properties, a solution to remove the duplicates from an array can be implemented very easily as shown here. It just involves first constructing a set from the array which gets rid of the duplicates, then we need to create the array back from the set. Although this solution consumes a lot of new memory, it is way simplistic than others. By the way, let me know in the comment section how you would accomplish this task of removing duplicates from an array. So now that you have these two new tools in your arsenal, make sure you try your hands at them whenever the next relevant use case pops up. That's all for today's video. See you in the next one.